Hi there, David Risley here with Blog Marketing Academy, and I wanted to quickly talk about how to not display full post on your blog's homepage. Now, a lot of bloggers do this with mainly because they don't really know how to do anything other than that. A lot of, especially the free themes that are out there, will typically display full post on the homepage. Uh, and, and basically the blog homepage looks just like a category, it looks just like the archives. I mean, it all looks the same because they all share a common template. And a lot of bloggers don't have the technical knowledge to change that. So I wanna talk about a couple of different things here that we can go ahead and do here. First of all, uh, this is the blog page. This is not my home page. This is the blog page on my site, and you can see what I'm talking about. This post is my most recent, and I am displaying the full post, but underneath that, I go down several paragraphs, and then there's, a, there's a link for read more. And then I've got a little custom thing here, which has a grid layout for the, for the rest of them. And that's kind of what you want to do. You don't necessarily need to have the grid, but you definitely want to make sure that you limit the amount of text which is appearing on your list of latest posts. You don't want to show them everything and have, let's say, 10 post displayed in full form because it's just way too much text and it's just visual overload and it's a really bad idea. So the really easy way to handle this is comes down to basically how you post. If you go to add a new post in WordPress and you type some kind of a headline, whatever, and then you you type, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then what you do is you hit this little button right here. It says insert the more tag. And there you go, it'll put this little line in there and this little thing that says more. Now, that will not actually appear on your blog, but it, what it will actually do is act as a, as a delineator. It will actually show all this stuff on your main archives, on your homepage, what have you, but everything underneath, underneath this is going to not appear on that page. They'll actually have to click on the main post, click on the headline, click on a read more link to see the rest of it. So that you make definitely make use of that read more if you're not using that already because that will actually solve the problem for you. Now another thing that you can do is <coughs> excuse me, is instead of displaying posts, the content you actually use excerpts. So if you scroll down on my interface here, you'll, you'll get some stuff here which is custom to my installation. Let me go and shrink all this. But then you come down, you'll see a field for excerpt. And so here's the thing about excerpts. It's basically a, a, a very, very abbreviated version of the post. Now, many themes out there will, will display excerpts, but if you don't enter anything into this field, it will by default take the first 100 characters or so and it will just display them out and then it'll have like a little dot 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 or something like that and so it's it kind of breaks the flow it breaks off in the middle of a sentence and then and then it'll give you the read more so if you want to have more fine-tuned control over it over that and actually control where it it does that you can actually enter in your own excerpt here by going down in your um, post interface and just typing this is my excerpt i mean you could type anything you want in here it could be um you know a cliffhanger of some kind something that really gets them to want to cl click and read that post but you can actually manually type your own and you can go down multiple lines and do the whole thing and, uh, and if you're displaying excerpts on your blog, it will actually show this, whatever you type. You're basically overwriting WordPress's default, which is just to display the first 100 characters or so. Uh, so those are the two easiest ways to handle what gets displayed on your homepage, and it's all built right in. Now, if you're using Genesis Framework, which is something that I really, really like myself, and that's what I'm using, then we can click over to the Genesis settings, click on theme settings, yeah, we'll leave this page. Wait for it to load up here. And there we go. Go to theme settings. Go down to the the uh, options for content archives. And you'll see that you've got a drop down here for displaying post content or display post excerpts. So if you display the content, then it displays the entire post or it displays the post up to the read more link that I just showed you. And if you display post excerpts, then it will show the excerpt field, whatever you type in there, or the first 100 characters or so. So obviously, if you use something like Genesis Framework, it's a heck of a lot easier to solve this problem.
Okay, and really quick for those of you who may be running a, a theme that is just not set up very well for this. I'm, I don't have one of these themes handy, but they're out there. There's a lot of f generally free themes that, you know, it really comes down to this. The free themes are free for a reason. It's because generally they're not very good. If you want to have more control without having to worry about diving into code every single time, that's where the frameworks and some of the premium themes come into play. And they, gen they are worth the money. I mean, they're really going to save a lot of headaches but if you have one of these themes where you have to do everything manually and you're really stuck on it then I want to just I'll, I'll go over to the, my virtual whiteboard here and I'll just kind of show you what to look for generally you're gonna have a file inside your theme called index.php and this is going to be found in a folder called WP content themes and then some name of your theme, whatever that might be. And then in there, you're gonna find this file called index.php. Now, some freebie themes, that's a, they have this file right here and then a few other files. And the problem is that the index.php file will by default control the look of your homepage, the look of your archives, the look of your categories, it will control everything. So what you're gonna to have to do is create a copy. You're gonna to have to create a new version of this called home.php. So you, what you, you can do is use your FTP program or whatever, create a copy of it and rename it to home.php. And that's gonna give you a, a custom homepage essentially. And it's gonna look exactly the same as what index.php does now. So at this point, you're not gonna notice any change whatsoever. So you, once you have this file called home.php, then what you wanna do is you wanna open it up in a text editor and you wanna look for a function called the content something like that there might be something in here um, and you want so this is basically displaying the full content of your blog post and um, so that's what it does now if you want to just to have control over what displays in your home page you can still use the read more link that I just showed you that's built right into WordPress and it will still um, you can still control what appears here but if let's say you want to switch over to excerpts here you just run a little search and replace you find this function right here and you replace it with a function called the whoops put a the like that the excerpt and it will literally just, instead of pulling the content, it will pull the excerpt in. And that's pretty much it. Now, I understand this gets a little geeky, but I'm hoping that you're not running a theme where you have to get this nitty gritty. But if you are, this is I just wanted to give you the bird's eye view on how to handle that as well.